Barakatay Yahuwah, Barakatay Yahuwah Shai, Kol Halayim La Yahuwah, Bahasham Yahuwah Shai, Barakah Kodash, which means all praises to Yahuwah is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahuwah Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Barakah Kodash means in the uh, Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, as you can see the title of the lesson, you know, it's entitled Don't Let Go, you know, and that's inspired from um the book of Genesis. Just go to that. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 32. In verse 24, it says, and Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. So, 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 let me just keep reading. It's verse 25. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And it's the same thing that we're doing through the spirit. Now it says Jacob was left alone. In the book of Galatians, the sixth chapter says, every man shall bear uh, his own burden. In second Ezra, the seventh chapter, it speaks about how that narrow path was so small that only one man can go there at once. So each one of us is going through this battle on our own. Each one of us got to, I can't hold on for the next man or the next man can't hold on for me. Each one of us got to wrestle and hold on uh, 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 for, for our own. You see, it says verse 25. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. So you could just imagine the pain, the, uh, 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 the uh, how uncomfortable that was. Well, that represents us within this faith, the trials and tribulations and, and, and the afflictions that we go through. But yet we still have to hold on. You see, and he said, the angel said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. So even though our forefather Jacob was in all types of pain, his, his, his thigh was out of joint, yet he still wouldn't let that angel go except he received a blessing. So it's the same thing that we must uh, um, 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 embody through the spirit, man, no matter how, how how much affliction or or how how much how, how, how uncomfortable our situation is, how much pain we find ourselves in. We still have to hold tight, man. Let's get Revelation. It's lucky. Let's get Revelation, the third chapter, in the 11th verse. Yahweh Shai, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, man. And what do we have? We have this wisdom and knowledge and understanding that we must hold fast to. It says that no man take thy crown. Now, when we go to Wisdom of Solomon, the sixth chapter, in the 20th verse, it says, therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. So this wisdom this knowledge that we have is going to bring us a literal crown. You see, this is the fifth chapter. Let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. And let's start at the 15th verse. It says, but the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. What? That crown and the care of them is with the most high. Therefore, shall they receive a glorious kingdom. And a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand for with his right hand shall he cover them and with his arm shall he protect them. So we got to hold fast this knowledge. You see, as it is written in the book of Sirach, let's get Sirach, the 51st chapter. And let's start at the 13th verse. This is Sirach 51 and 13. It says, when I was yet young or ever I went abroad, I desired wisdom openly in my prayer. I prayed for her before the temple and will seek her out even to the end. So it's the same thing um, uh, um, 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 King Solomon prayed for. He prayed for that wisdom. He prayed for that understanding. You know, Apostle Gabar just did a lesson titled, uh, This is the Silver Bullet, which you know I just did a response to, Lord willing, it'll be up soon, you know, about praying. 
We have to continually pray unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. That's how we that's how we don't let go. You see? Verse 15. Even from the flower till the grape was ripe, hath my heart delighted in her. My foot went the right way from my youth up, sought I after her. I bowed down my ear a little and received her and got much learning. I profited therein. Therefore will I ascribe glory unto him that giveth me wisdom. And that's the Lord. For I purpose to do after her and earnestly I follow that which is good. So shall I not be confounded. This is the point. Verse 19. My soul hath wrestled with her and in my doings I was exact. I stretched forth my hands to the heaven above. And bewailed my ignorances of her, meaning he prayed and cried unto Yahweh about Sham Yahweh Shai. You see? But the point is, is that he wrestled with wisdom. And it's the same thing that we must uh, um, 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 embody the same characteristics, the same traits. Hold that fast which we have, man. We have to fight to stay in the spirit. We have to fight to, uh, 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 to continually abound, you know? Like as, as it is written, let's get this. This is first. Corinthians 15 and let's start at 57. It says, but thanks be to the most high, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, man. So we got to continually abound. We can't let this thing go. We can't let it slip through our fingers. We got to fight and we got to hold tight to what we have, man. You know? Let's, let, let's go from there to Sirach, the sixth chapter. Let's get Sirach, chapter six. And um, I get straight to the point in verse. I go to 22. It says, for wisdom is according to her name and she is not manifest unto many. And that's heavy within itself right there. So us brothers that have hold of it, let's hold tight unto it, man, because everybody ain't got an opportunity to have it. Give ear, my son, receive my advice and refuse not my counsel and put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. We got a hold tight. It says what? Uh, from, from, from Jacob wrestling with that angel, his name was changed to Yashar Allah. He is a prince of the power, man. So, so, so we got a hold tight, man. We are sons of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. So we must conduct ourselves as such. We must fight to hold forth that title, man, that name. It says, come unto her with thy whole power, with thy whole heart, Salakia, and keep her ways with all thy power. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. You see? When thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. We got to hold tight, man. You know, from there. Let's get a, uh, uh, now I'm going to just, you know, run through a couple of precepts I got written down. This is, um, first Timothy four and 13. It says, till I come give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine, right? This is how we give ourselves holy to it. Give attendance, right? Meaning that you're always there. Let's get that word attendance. It says to bring, to bring near, to bring a ship to land, simply to touch at, to, to turn the mind to. To attend to be attentive, right? To apply oneself, to attach oneself, to be given or addicted to. Ooh, I gotta get a precept for that. This is uh first Corinthians. What is that? Um is it 16, 15? Yep. It says, I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. See? We gotta we got we gotta stay firm. We gotta hold tight unto it, man. You know? Till I come give attendance, right? Being addicted, holding tight to it, to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. 
So reading entails what? Our studying, our supping with the spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Exhortation goes into what? Our lessons that we put forth, our exhorting one another daily, our, our, our getting together with brothers, right? And to doctrine. Doctrine is the teachings, you know? And that's what? Watching the apostles, the elders, go, uh, going into certain breakdowns, you know, that, 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 uh, that the apostles and elders and different brothers go into, man. Being attentive. It says, verse 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery, meaning the body of elders. It says, uh, 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 how, how, how can they believe except they be sent? So through the preaching, through the teaching of the elders, we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. We receive this gift of faith. It says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Ephesians 2 and 8. This is the, uh, a gift of the heavenly father and that not of ourselves. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. So neglect not the gift that is given us, man. Let's let's get that word gift. It's a Greek word charisma. And, and this is the one I like. It says a favor with which one receives without any merit of his own. So we didn't do nothing. It ain't like or uh, uh, we fought 30 niggas or or or, 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 or we, we 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 traveled 30 countries to no. <laughs> you know? We didn't do nothing to receive this, man. So let's lay hold of it. It says the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man who found a treasure in a field. We got to lay tight Verse 15, meditate upon these things. You see, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. Meaning what? With all your power, give your heart over like we read in Sirach. That thy profiting may appear to all. Yeah, man, that all men may see our light, that they may glorify our heavenly father, man. Verse 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, continue in them, lay hold, right? Hold tight. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. From there, let's jump over to uh, 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 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12. I started at 11. It says, but thou, O man of the most high, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. It's the word lay hold. To lay hold or to seize, to take in addition, to lay hold, take possession of, overtake, attain, you know, to seize, man. Like it says in Sirach, once thou got hold of her, let her not go. It says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, where until thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. So we got to lay hold, man. You know? This is eternal life. This is going to bring us the kingdom of heaven. This is going to give us a crown. You understand? From there, let's get um, let's get Proverbs four. Let's get the book of uh Proverbs, chapter four, and verse eleven. It says, "I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths." When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Meaning what? The Lord got us, man. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her for she is thy life, man. It says take fast hold. What's that Hebrew word? Chazak. Ooh, strengthen, man. So, 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 man, 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 be strong. You see? We got to fight the good fight, man. It says, take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her for she is our life, man. From there, let's go back a chapter. Let's go to Proverbs 3 and 13. It says, happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Man, it's the most precious thing on this planet. Length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand, riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her 
and happy is everyone that retaineth her. Let's get that word retain. It's the Hebrew word thamak, thamaka, thamak. It says to grasp, hold, support, attain, lay hold of, hold fast, to seize. You see how all these different words are all, are all synonyms to each other, really? So we got a hold tight of this word, man. That no man take our crown, not even ourselves. From there, let's go to Colossians. The first chapter. And let's start at 19. It says, for it pleased the father that in him, meaning in Yahweh Shai, should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, meaning through Yahweh Shai, right, his sacrifice, we are, uh, we, we are um, um, reconciled unto the Most High, made friendly again, right? The blood of his cross by him. Damn. I ain't, damn. Uh, uh, Colossians 1 and 20. And having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him, I say, whether they be in things in earth or things in heaven, and you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. So that's considering what? It was our mind to go astray, now being returned. Let's seek him 10 times more, meaning lay hold, hold tight and let it not go. You see? So it says that we were alienated and enemies in our minds by wicked works, but now are we reconciled? Verse 22, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Verse 23, this is the point. If ye continue in the faith, Ground it and settled. Let's get the word grounded. Ooh, to lay the foundation, to found, to make stable, establish. Then that first Corinthians says, uh, 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 unmovable, always abounding. And we're built upon a rock. We're, we're, we're built upon the foundation of Yahweh Shai. You see? It says, if you continue in the faith, ground it and settled. Let's get the word settled. Sitting, sedentary, firm, immovable, steadfast. Ooh, that's what we read in 1 Corinthians 15. And be not moved away. Let's get that word move, to move from a place to move away. So be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. You see? So, man, 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 <laughs> we got to lay hold of this, man. We got to lay hold of this. Let's get, um, let's jump over to the second chapter. Let's get uh, Colossians 2 and 6. It says, as ye have therefore received Hamashiach, Yehoshua, the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith. As ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving, man. So being rooted, being grounded, meaning being unmovable. Those roots, uh, uh, like when a tree is, is firmly rooted, those roots go deep. So 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 that tree is is, is laying firm, is, is laying hold of the ground, and it can't be moved, man. And that's how we ought to be according to Psalms, the first chapter. But that's all I had through the spirit, man. A, a, a lay hold of eternal life, man. This is what we have. Let no man take our crown, not even ourselves. We got to fight to stay in the spirit. We got to wrestle. No matter how uncomfortable we are, no matter how much pain we in, no matter uh, 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 how much trials or tribulation or afflictions we might find ourselves in, we got to hold tight, man. You know? So, Lord willing, I pray this was exhorting and edifying. The Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Call Halong and La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Baracha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Hey, Shalom.